Hey, Misha here. So uh, tonight I wanted to do a long canvas. So I've got a 16 by 40 inch canvas. I've painted it black. Um, I've got a bunch of colors here. I'm hoping they all go well together. Either they're going to be awesome or y'all and myself are going to think, why the heck did she think of that color combination? But we'll see how it turns out. So in a little cup over here, I've got a little bit of white, which is the uh, art alternatives. I've got a big cup of black, which is the uh, Flow Acrylics, um, Artist Law Flow Acrylics. Um, some more Artist Law Flow Acrylics in the gold. In this cup right here, I've got two different reds. So I've got the Berry Wine, which is just an awesome color. And I've got a deep cadmium red deep hue. I mixed these together in this cup because I wanted a little bit more red than the berry wine and I am very happy with the color that I got. So I hope you guys like it too when it comes out on the canvas. Um, in this cup I've got just a little bit of, this is the raw umber and this is master master's touch. And then in this cup I've got a little like the last of my um, burnt umber uh, sergeant arts. So, and in each one of these, I've got a little bit of Floetrol and some water. And I want to make this canvas um, very horizontally focused. So, I'm going to be pouring the paint um, in lines across the middle, I think. And then I've got my hair dryer and my airbrush, and I'm going to have some fun with it. So, let's see how this turns out.
All right, guys, I better stop now before I mess it all up. Too bad. Um, and sorry for the glare. I got the lights out so that you can actually see what I'm doing. Um, but I figured I'd bring you in closer to get a look. I do love the way the blow dryer makes that super silky look. It's definitely silky. I didn't get rid of it right there. I wanted to keep that little bit, but then blew these out. And we'll have to see what it looks like when it's all dry. See, look at that area. That's just so cool. Boy, that glare really is getting in the way, huh? Well, that's it for tonight. I'm going to let it dry. And I'll finish the sides. And I will um, varnish it. And then I'll put it up on the wall and I'll show you guys so that we don't have all this glare. Um, one thing about this is I could see doing this with a much thinner stream of white coming in and then a big poof of white in the middle. Um, but overall, I do really like it. And I just absolutely love using the airbrush and the um, hair dryer. Like, those are just, they're my things. I'm going to stick with it and keep learning. All right, so I'll bring you back in when it's all done and dried and varnished. All right, guys, so this is it all said and done. There's a thin layer of varnish. Well, not really thin. I guess I only put two layers of varnish on. Um, and all dried and on the wall. So, <laughs> I hate to say it, but this one seems a little um, evil to me. Evil. Um, <laughs> you've got the, the red coming up. You've got the the gold and then right there to me what does that look like to you guys because uh, I think it looks like a melting skull I don't know you guys tell me what you think I ultimately I really like it I think it's really cool but um, it definitely feels a little darker than I had originally anticipated alright guys you have a great day tell me what you think in the comments below if you like give me a big old thumbs up and if you want to see more hit the subscribe button. See you guys soon.